A suicide vehicle born improvised explosive device, VBIED, was detonated in Kaduna, Nigeria at about 9 a.m. on April 8th. Given the tactics and targeting of yesterday's attack, the Islamist militant group Boko Haram is the most likely suspect. The explosion killed at least 38 people, most of whom were motorcycle taxi drivers and market traders on a crowded roundabout. It also damaged the two nearby churches, which are suspected to have been the intended targets. The timing of the explosion suggests that the attacker was targeting Easter services. The attacker, however, appears to have failed to navigate his explosives-laden vehicle beyond the security perimeter of the churches. Reports suggest that either a malfunction in the device or the effectiveness of security measures are the reason for the attack being off target. According to one report, the assailant attempted to penetrate the compound where the churches were located, but was obstructed by the road barriers and security guards that were in place. Churches are often targeted in northern Nigeria, and an attack on Easter Sunday was very much expected. After being unable to penetrate the compound, the assailant panicked and drove to the crowded roundabout where he detonated the VBIED. Other witness statements say that the vehicle was in the process of speeding to its target but detonated at the T-junction short of the church compound. VBIEDs are complicated, finicky devices that are difficult to construct and deploy without malfunctions in the device or deployment. The results are dramatic, but as seen as in Sunday's attack, do not always hit their intended targets. Boko Haram's tactics have advanced significantly in the past three years. Only in 2009, Boko Haram was conducting attacks with clubs and machetes. Now it's deploying explosive devices and VBIEDs. Sunday's attack is reminiscent of the bombings from Christmas 2011, when suspected Boko Haram members attacked three different churches with improvised explosive devices, killing at least 36 people. Much like in this weekend's Easter Sunday attack, which targeted churchgoers as they were assembling for the first service, the attack on the church in Abuja in December 2011 was reportedly launched just as mass was ending and civilians were gathering outside. The similarities and targeting between the two religious holiday attacks suggest that Boko Haram is using the same playbook. Yesterday's attack doesn't indicate any new developments in Boko Haram's tactics, but it could suggest marginal improvement in regional security. This recent attack is in line with Stratford's assessment that the Boko Haram network will continue a sustained campaign of attacks in its northeastern core of Borno State, while occasionally conducting more advanced attacks against symbolic targets in central Nigeria. However, as seen in this case, even those targets have their limits. The Boko Haram threat persists, but it continues to be one limited largely to soft targets in Nigeria's northeastern region. It does not show any signs of progressing to an existential threat to the Nigerian government, much less a transnational terrorist movement.